So whoever told you that lightweights make you shredded and heavyweights make you muscular is a fucking idiot. everyone, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition, on my Facebook fan page, Facebook.com, slash, Mark Lobliner, I answer your questions, and if I answer your question on YouTube, you get a free tub of MTS Nutrition weight, or if you're international, a gift card to TigerFitness.com. So today's winner, or the guy who gets his question answered and gets a free tub away, is Cam Turek. What exactly is the difference of action when the muscle fibers, with the muscle fibers when lifting heavy and just going lighter weight? So basically, why do we grow bigger when lifting heavy and get more shred when lifting lighter? You don't. At the end of the day, here's what, what the misnomer is. When you lift lighter with more reps, you are burning more calories, okay? And also when you lift lighter with more reps, hence in the eight to 15 range, you're inducing hypertrophy. There are different phases as um, we espouse as an exos trainer. I can say that now because I'm as high as you can go. I'm a phase three exos trainer. You can't go to many more things. You can't get much higher, okay? So the bottom line is there's three phases. The strength phase where we train in the three to five rep range, somewhere in there, okay? And then you have the hypertrophy phase, which is the eight to 12 rep range. And then you have the power phase, which is instrumental for athletes. We also train in the three to five rep range, but you train with absolute power. Meaning if I'm gonna do a deadlift, I'm gonna do it so hard and fast, I'm gonna explode off the ground. Power range is gonna be about 60 to 65% of your one RM, whereas strength would be 80 to 90% of your one RM. Hypertrophy would be between 70 and 80% somewhere in there. Or in layman's terms, if someone who doesn't wanna do a mathematical equation to get to that, you're looking at about a weight you can get for eight to 12 reps, has to eight to 12 rep, rep range. There's also gonna be volume, will be three to four sets of eight to 12 reps. You also have ancillary exercises and you can combine them. What we do at Exos when training an athlete, let's say we have a six week period, we have an athlete, for example, getting ready for the NFL combine, the first two weeks will be spent with hypertrophy. Hypertrophy allows us to get more men in the boat. Essentially, look at your muscles as boat, okay, as a, as a boat. And all the different fibers are people rowing, different people with oars. By building more muscle, contractile muscle, you, contractile muscle tissue, we allow the body to have more fibers that are there to recruit, that are there to create and generate strength and power. So we get that hypertrophy phase where we build bigger muscle. Bigger muscle equals greater potential for power output. Hence why even athletes need a hypertrophy phase. Next, we move into strength. Strength, we're taking that increased contractile power, contractile force, by building more muscle and hypertrophy, and we are going to transfer that over and lift as heavy as possible and condition our ligaments, our joints, and our tendons to be able to handle that load as well as our muscle. Power is putting it all together because as an athlete, what is my goal with all that? Hypertrophy to strength to power. My goal is fucking velocity. I want to run and move as fast as fucking possible. I want to get from point A to point B, or I want to get from movement A to movement B as quickly as possible. And we do that in the weight room by generating hypertrophy, strength, power equals velocity. Following me here. So... Got to get a drink. I'm getting excited. Why the fuck am I talking about training an athlete when it comes to your question about lightweight and high reps making you shredded? And then, uh, of course, heavier weights. Let me just go back to this question. I'm kind of... And then, of course... Okay, so basically... Muscle fibers... So why do we go bigger when lifting heavy and get shredded and lifting lighter? Which doesn't happen. I mean, that's a complete falsity. Your muscle does a couple things. It can maintain relative homeostasis, relative nothingness. It can maintain the same size. But you're always in a constant state of building and breaking down. So even that stagnation is not really possible with your muscle or anything in the body. Your body's constantly in flux. Your heart rate's always going up and down. Your blood sugar's always going up and down. You're never gonna be like this. So no, your body's not gonna stay the same. Your muscle therefore does two fucking things. Hypertrophy, which is growth, or atrophy, which is wasting. What happens is if you cause muscle hypertrophy or your muscle to grow, 
what happens? It increases your, your body's metabolic needs to feed and nourish that muscle. In turn, that increases your body's necessity for calories, which increases your body's basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories your body burns at rest, which increases, follow me here, which increases the amount of calories you can eat, which means that a person who started at 150 pounds with 5%, with let's say 10% body fat, when they get to 160 pounds with 10% body fat, will have a higher caloric need because they need those calories to sustain that muscle. Whereas if they take the calories lower, they lose one of two things or both, fat and or muscle. So whoever told you that lightweights make you shredded and heavyweights make you muscular is a fucking idiot. They do not understand how the body works. However, what light weights and high reps can do is increase your caloric expenditure. If you're doing four sets of eight to 12 reps or four sets of 15 to 20 reps versus four sets of two reps, you are burning more calories. And if you're eating the same amount of calories, that puts you in a greater caloric deficit, allowing you to lose more fat, which means that you will appear that your muscle is shredding up, but your muscle doesn't shred. Your muscle grows or it shrinks and nothing in between. Let me know your thoughts. Am I wrong? Am I stupid? And also I'm going to link an article down below that'll tell you all about all this shit or might even give you a way to, to achieve that. Anyway, guys, like this channel because I'm full of shit like this. Subscribe, like my Facebook page, follow that shit, ask questions. I give shit away all the time. Instagram's at Mark Lobliner, okay? Subscribe to this fucking channel. Tell your friends about this channel and click on that bell so you get notified when I upload more epic shit like this. Guys, I really enjoyed discussing this. In fact, I could talk for another 20 minutes and also run one of those ads in between the video, which pays really well, but we're going to stop it short. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and send me nudes, and that's not a game.